This video is going to look at Navex from the backend admin view after incidences or reports have been submitted. So this, when you log in, you'll get to this home page. Um, there's a good overview section on the front. Um, please note that this is all custom to cases that you can see. So just um, your department or branch specific. Um, so you can see the red alert cases at the top, kind of a summary of issues, um, summary of flags and kind of new cases and any tasks. On the left hand side here is kind of a toolbar to get to different areas. Um, there's an analytics section where you can run some reports and do some digging in. Um, there's cases, so you can do all cases and kind of filter them that way. Um, and to get back to your home page as well. Um, there's also a search bar at the top here, which is really helpful to search uh, someone's name to find a case, or you can search a case number or any information like that. So I am going to go ahead and search the case number that we're going to be looking at today as an example. So we're going to look at a couple of different things um, after this loads. So the first section, we're just going to look at the top here, and this kind of just gives us a good overview of a couple of um, information points. Um, I'm going to look at the status and talk a little bit about the status. So you can blue, press the blue pencil to do the status. Um, so when all statuses come in, they come in as unreviewed. So this is what the default status is unless it's changed. So as you get an email, uh, I encourage you to click on it, review it, um, and then change it to in process as you're kind of reviewing the um, case. And if there's any additional information you need or any follow up, um, it's going to be in process. Um, closed cases should be closed when no additional follow up is needed and everything is done. Um, closing uh, cases are done by the operations director or a staff member at the association office. Um, can close them. We can always reopen them if we need to as well. So that's the status part and then the different alerts. So I'll just go for each one. None means this is kind of default. There's nothing major at the time. Green, uh, we don't currently have anything assigned to that one. Yellow, um, this can be used at the branch level if you want to um, you know, use it for different types of different scenarios. It's really up to the branches to decide. Um, and then red alert, um, this is when, when someone from the association office needs to follow up um, on the case. Couple of examples, what a red alert could be, it could be workers comp injury, um, something to do with our insurance that we need to submit, any child abuse or aquatics that we need to report to YUSA, um, or licensing childcare issues that we need to report to licensing. So if it's if it's marked as red, um, that will be something that the um, association office will take a look at. Um, so yeah, they're the only people that can close that. So we are going to dig into taking a look at a case together just so we can kind of go over where certain areas are and what we can take a look at. Um, so on the left here, you'll see all the different areas of the case, a helpful tip is if you press the case at the top, it shows all of them, um, all of the different parts of the case all in one screen, which is kind of nice. So as we look at this case, um, I'm just gonna go through the different areas and then we can kind of just go through each one. So this area says what the case number is, when, it, um, when the incident took place, um, the location, so VISA facility, um, this is done by branch, um, child care, there's branch Pacific and then there's child care Pacific. Again, you're um, assigned to whichever area that you're responsible for. Uh, what the primary issue was, and then a little bit more detail on the case, so where it was at, the location, location within the um, within the branch of the location. Um, this is all from when the person that submitted the report, this is all the information, who was reported it, the details, this is a good section to know what actually happened. Um, 
so it digs into this a little bit, the different details. Um, so you can read through, see if anything needs to be added. Um, follow up. This is if you want to follow up to the reporter. So whoever reported it, if you want to ask follow up questions or anything like that. Here you can see who's assigned to the case. So who's going to get emails um, about it moving forward. Um, let's take a look. And then persistence. This is everyone who's... Um, was in the case so if we go back up to detail you can kind of read it one person that's missing is the lifeguard here provided first aid so you could add the little add button there and add in um, some more information to add the lifeguard in items this is if there's a vehicle or um, insurance stuff that we need to put there agencies this is if we're working with law enforcement at all we need to put anything there Attachments is a really good area for adding witnesses' statements, photos, links to camera footage. Um, anything can be uploaded, um, so that's really good. Um, we're not using this section right now. But then tasks, this can be assigned to people. Um, if there's any follow-up tasks that need to be done, you can um, assign to specific people. Case notes, this is just really good if you're doing follow-up or you're trying to create like a log of information that you emailed this person, followed up, workers comp number. Um, the more information, the better in case. Um, and then related cases, um, this is where someone has been linked. So if there's uh, multiple cases going on with one person or there's different examples of, um, you know, the same kid um, in a child care center biting someone, this is where you can kind of link it and see um, all of the related cases together. Um, so yeah, that's a quick overview of um, looking at a case. Um, so again, you want to look through when, if you've looked through and it's all good and nothing needs to be followed up, um, then you just need to come up here and change the status to closed. Um, we do ask that you kind of follow up within a couple of days of the case being done, just so we can follow up on these, make sure they're not building up too much. Um, again, when it's closed, you can always reopen it. And then the last thing you want to do is you always want to log out or sign out of Navex. We can only have so many users on at one time. So please make sure that you sign out um, when you're done.